just wanted to talk a little bit today about trauma and various things. When you, um, when you start doing things like feel the feelings, and uh, you're t what, what is feel the feelings is just trying to sit with yourself in silence and not make a story detach from thoughts and just allow the experiencing of emotions and feelings. Uh, it's one of the things that people in a high sort of traumatized state don't want to do uh, at maximum level because it's the opposite of, uh, of constant stimulation. Um, sometimes um, various things may happen. Very, now one of the things to know is that if, if, you, if you're able to do that, when feelings come up, it's good to allow them to come up and not make a story and feel them through. Because you don't need to, a lot of people actually, I'd say a lot, a lot of people don't actually need to know what the story is. You don't actually need to know what the story is. I mean, if you go, I'm a hypnotherapist, and often you can speak to the unconscious, but actually, if you're able to do feel the feelings, i.e. just sit with yourself and let go of the story and energetically feel out everything, it will also dispel the story and the trauma story associated with it. So sometimes when you're sitting with feelings, all kinds of feelings that may be associated to childhood memories that you may have had, those feelings may arise. You still don't need to make a story. If you feel them out, you will have healed that. You know, like each traumatic incident is a pocket of a repressed feeling and, and a, a simple mental story that the unconscious has made about it like it's not safe in this environment. So let's keep this repressed memory and this pocket of feelings within. But sometimes you can do feel the feelings, like feelings may arise, you don't need to make a story, if you just feel it all out, you'll have healed that trauma without even having to know what it is. Um, so that, that's one of the things I wanted to share. So you just sit through everything. If you can sit through everything and feel everything out, you'll get to a state of enlightenment. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment is if you were to feel out every repressed energy and feeling within the ego that you've ever picked up and let go of every single thought or belief system, according to spiritual language, like every belief you hold in mind is a limiting belief. There is, so beyond the ego, there is, you could say, the spirit, or there's an infinite internal wisdom and there's an orchestration from the universe which does not arise from the ego. Now that's what it is to be enlightened or to be an instrument of the divine. Um, so you can let go of every single belief that you hold, limiting belief. Uh, it's safe to do so because the infinite wisdom of the universe is far greater than anything you've been programmed by. But um, some people may, you know, I've been talking to people, and some people may suddenly struggle even to do feel the feelings to release everything, or it may seem certain blocks may come up. And I just wanted to share something on camera. Um, if you're doing feeling the feelings and it seems like an aspect is not allowing you to feel a feeling because um, it's so extreme that every time you sit to feel the feeling something jolts you away, then, um, uh, you know, I mean, seeing a hypnotherapist is one idea. As a hypnotherapist, you realize that the unconscious mind can sometimes, in order to keep, in order to keep the, the individual functioning, Will, will shut off an experience and blank it out of memory. And so you, you no longer have conscious access to what, what, was the, what, what actually happened and what was the message. And there's a compartmentalized trapped em emotion that's compressed in there. And it may be blocked off. It may be seen to be huge resistance to just allowing that to come up into consciousness and to feel it out. So it's like it's trapped. So, uh, you know, like if, if I was seeing someone for hypnotherapy, you get them into a relaxed state, just go through progressive, just, you can just, if you're listening to this video at home, you just like try and relax yourself, just allow your feet to relax, then the muscles in your leg to relax, allow yourself to breathe deeply, allow all your facial muscles to relax, and just allow yourself to go into a deep meditative state while you're alone at home. And then... Um, and then just uh, if there's permission from the unconscious mind, uh, and if it's safe to do so, just allow that doorway to open and, uh, and let that part know that you're now an adult and, it's, and you now have the resources and the capability to open the floodgates 
to that little compartment and to feel it out in a safe environment. Choose a safe environment in which to feel it out. And just allow, if there's permission from that part that's holding that memory blank, uh, if it feels safe to do so, let the unconscious part, if it's willing, allow you to know what the message was of why it has shut that out. And just know that God or your spirit guides or whatever it is that you, or, that you feel safe with will be with you and that it's okay. And if there's a, if there's a message in it, let uh, God or spirit or your higher wisdom guide you in how you can heal and release that part. So once that's done, now with these things, usually the part won't allow that, that gateway to open until it feels safe to do so. Um, and you know you can't you can't force it. Even in hypnotherapy, often you'd ask for permission. And if the if the part feels safe, it will open that memory and allow those feelings to be released. And you can get a higher recontextualization that at this age, it's safe to to release that uh, thing. So, hoping anyways that someone and is able to just allow a relaxation maybe safe at home or with someone you trust and let that part heal because once it's healed uh, then you can go to the next thing if there's a specific block with that.